saw me doing was um, last week my car got egged. Uh, it peeled up the paint in some spots. So what I had to do was I, had, I sanded it with some uh, 1000 grit. I had a piece around here. Sanded it with some 1000 grit wet. And it feathered it out to where I can get it. And then what I did was I got a little bit of my primer. I blew it in there. And uh, just laid it out. Really. And then after the primer dried, I sanded it again with some 1000. Then just basically laid my white base coat down. Now I'll show you on the fender. No, I blew it in. You can see the spots where I was sanding. The uh, paint was peeling. The uh, one spot was on the fender over there. And it doesn't have like the roughness like it did. So what I got to do is I got to stand back a little bit more and let the overspray cake into it. Now, yeah, I should have masking paper on my windshield, but I don't. So you won't even really be able to see this with the camera. I just got to stand real far back and build it up. Door. I got my air pressure really low to help it. I should be wearing my mask, but I'm not. And I'm going outward more to help it blend in with the rest of the colors. So, also I got little spots to blow in where the paint was peeling in the wheel well. I didn't sand it down and well, I'm just going to still spray it in there. So, and I'm going to re-undercut these fender wells. Just so it matches a little bit better in there. The other side now. See? It blends right there. I'm happy with that. Do it to these front fender wells too. I'm sorry I didn't get video when I was sanding it. I just got in a zone and forgot. I might really beat this whole past few days. So. Remember I just gave you a quick look at Bernie? Well, I'll give you a full walk around now. Uh, yeah, I was peeling that because the sealer bubbled. But, uh, one thing is, another fuck up that happened is, figured since this rail is made of high strength steel, and where my repair is really, uh, I might just end up replacing this whole upper rail. It is welded, it's pretty strong, but I might just replace it because it's right in the middle. And God forbid, but if it does get hit again, I don't want to break so easy. So, the doors, I got nice new NOS door skins to put on them. Uh, this down here, I'm fixing some fucked up shit. Down here, I got it in all metal. Now I had it in fiberglass, there was a rust out right along here in the lower quarter it was pitted and all so I cut it out, put new metal uh, cut out a new piece of metal, put uh, fresh metal in there welded it in, put fiberglass over it now it's in uh, all metal I got the back end pretty much stripped off behind here it was uh, there was some rust not a lot, like the worst of it with some pits right here. What I did was I uh, sanded it down, put some etch primer across the back, and uh, then um, undercoating, and I uh, coated just gray paint. So even inside the uh, rails, I uh, put undercoating in there as far as I could get it, you know, as far as I could spray. You know, inside here, I'm gonna paint inside there too. I'm going to take all this shit out of the way. This is how it's looking so far. Been having some spots where there's little pieces of rust that I just ground down. And, you know. But, it's pretty much what it looks like. Got a lot of shit in it from tearing it down. But, uh, you know, everything's looking good. So, here's your update. The screw ups haven't happened, but the only way to learn is from failure.
There you go, guys.